Hello adventurers. On today's video, we're going to show you around Warm Lake, Idaho, one of our favorite places, and we are even going to show you a super secret place we found several years ago. There are so many things to do here in the Warm Lake area, including camping, riding, hiking, water sports, hot springs, fishing, and more. The area includes wildlife such as moose, deer, bear, elk, fox, and wolves. And one of my favorite things about the area, the wildflowers. There is never a shortage of flowers and it's incredibly beautiful. Warm Lake is located 26 miles west of Cascade, Idaho, and is a 640 acre lake with several campgrounds in the area along with dispersed camping sites. Later in the video, we will take you on a tour of Shoreline Campground. Fun fact, the first time we ever went camping together was at Warm Lake and is still one of my favorite camping memories. One of the best drives is to drive the Stoley Meadows Road to the Salmon Viewing Area, located just off Forest Service Road 474. This has always been one of my favorite places as, and is incredibly beautiful. During the months of July and August, Chinook salmon can be seen actively spawning or waiting to spawn in this area. For best viewing, move slowly to stay concealed on the boardwalk and wear polarized sunglasses to see under the water. Further down the Stilly Meadows Road is a Forest Service cabin that is available for rent and also Vulcan Hot Springs. Sadly, in 2007, the Cascade Complex of Fires burned through the area, burning over 300,000 acres and forever changing the landscape. Sixteen years later, you can start to see the regrowth and the emergence of all the new trees. Hey everybody, today we are out here riding the Telephone Ridge Trail. Uh, this is an ATV 50 inch trail out and back, so uh, we're going to see how far we get before we hit snow, so hope you enjoy. The Telephone Ridge Trail, aka Trail Number 112, is the 50 inch or less OHV 4.9 mile out and back trail that has an elevation gain of just over 2,500 feet. The heavily forested trail traverses the ridge ending with amazing views of Stoley Meadows and if the weather is good you can see Warm Lake. Just a word of caution, this trail has a lot of deadfall and trees fall all the time so be careful and always carry proper equipment. Just remember, just because the trail's clear going in doesn't mean it will be clear going back out. You guys, as you can see today, we're riding a couple different uh, trails. The first one we're going to start off is uh, road number 254. This is a motorcycle and ATV only, so that means you must be 50 inches or less. And uh, it starts here at this really cool bridge. Next up is the McCann Trail, aka number 254. This is also a 50 inch OHV trail. This trail is eight miles long. The trail works its way up the mountain with amazing views of Stoley Meadows. However, just a heads up, we rode this trail in June of 2023, all the way to the end. The last couple miles were very overgrown and the last quarter of a mile section has a very serious washout. If you would like, about a mile or so after the trailhead for the McCann Trail, you can choose to take the Meadows Trail, which is another 50 inch trail and also very fun. Now we are going to talk about one of my favorite Forest Service roads. I think this trail has it all and is a super fun way to head up towards the historic mining town of Yellow Pine, which we highly recommend visiting if in the Warm Lake area. This is Forest Service Road 467, also known as Cabin Creek. The road starts off the south fork of the Salmon River Road and connects to the Johnson Creek Road. This is a Forest Service road that we recommend only high clearance four wheel drive vehicles. This road is about 10 miles long and crosses Cabin Creek numerous times for a super fun ride. There are some steep uphill climbs and a large rocky section as you climb to the top of the ridge line following the power lines. This is definitely a must do if you have the right vehicle and you're in the area. All right, you guys, we are really roughing it here tonight camping. We brought our walk, Gosney rock box pizza oven and Luke's over here making some dough for us. So we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, P first one, pizza's in the oven. Here's the final product. We're not very creative when we were camping. They're both 
pepperoni and jalapeno, so dig in. Hey everybody, so today we're gonna take you to this uh, super secret spot that Luke and I found, gosh, I don't know, 10 years ago probably. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure how we found it or what made us stop and hike down this road. Um, Luke says his dad, oh gosh, there was a deer crossing the river. Yeah. Okay. The video got interrupted by a deer crossing the river. Um, Luke says his dad found it and he showed it to us. So uh, it's pretty crazy what uh, we found up here. Um, I hope you enjoy looking at it. I'll give you the history of it once we get up there. So here's the backstory on how we found this spot. Uh, at least 10 years ago, we were camping up off the Stoley Meadows Road when Luke's dad went for a walk. He was super excited when he came back and showed us this abandoned hot springs pool. I searched and searched for years trying to find the history on this place. How was there just an abandoned hot springs pool in the middle of nowhere? When I started researching for this video, I finally came across a long history of the Warm Lake area and was able to find out the history, albeit brief, of this area. In 1933, the Civilian Conservation Corps was established and a camp was established at Warm Lake, which is now the Baptist camp. The camp continued until World War II. In the 1930s, the Warm Lake swimming pool was built by the CCC on the South Fork of the Salmon River and used the hot springs for water. It opened in 1936 and was closed at the end of 1973 and filled with soil. On another website, I found it called the South Fork Plunge, and I was able to find some old photos. It's truly amazing to see how this used to look and how it looks today. The Warm Lake area has lots of dispersed camping spots, but for this trip, we stayed at the Shoreline Campground, and we're going to give you a tour. The Shoreline Campground is located just across the road from beautiful Worm Lake at an elevation of 5,300 feet. The campground contains several single and double campsites, most of which are handicap accessible. There is an accessible group site with a picnic shelter that is also available and can accommodate up to 50 people. There's a volleyball court and horseshoe pits located next to the group site. Picnic tables, campfire rings, and grills are available at the campsites. Vault, toilets, and drinking water are also provided. There is no electricity at the campground. The campground is situated in a mixed growth lodgepole pine forest, which offers partial shade. Billy Rice Swim Beach is nearby, offering a day use site for picnicking and swimming, and a boat ramp is located just across the road from the campground. And lastly, we're gonna show you the North Shore Lodge. The North Shore Lodge has a homestyle restaurant and full bar, and also includes cabins that are available for rent year round, including the winter months. The lodge has a small, well stocked store with boat rentals during the spring and summer, and a fire during the fall and winter. North Shore Lodge is also central to a lot of the activities in the area, including hot springing, fishing, swimming, hiking, and horseback riding. In the winter, there's hunting, snowshoeing, ice fishing, and snowmobiling. If you get a chance, we highly recommend you make a quick stop here to the North Shore Lodge. We've always enjoyed coming and having dinner or lunch here and enjoying a drink on the patio in the summertime. Hope you enjoyed the tour around the Warm Lake area. It's one of our favorite places and we hope it will become one of yours. Thanks for watching.